I have a lot of stuff I need to be doing, um, cleaning, packing, and the like, but I don't want to. <laughs> I it's it's all very overwhelming, and I'm I'm having a hard I hard time knowing where to start or I guess continue. So. I'm going to dye my hair instead. <laughs> While I'm waiting for it to develop, I will at least make a plan <sighs> and um, it'll, it'll give me breaks in between. Yes, I should say try to dye my hair because the last couple of times I've tried to dye it pink haven't worked and there was one time that I didn't even bother posting because nothing happened. I don't know what the issue was with the last couple of times I tried to dye my hair and why it didn't work. But maybe it was because that was a semi-permanent color. Yeah, both of them were semi-permanent colors. And um, that was the first time I tried a semi-permanent color. Yeah, I don't know what it is with um, anything other than permanent hair color, but it just does not work on my hair at all. So the colors that I have decided this time are going to be permanent. So this is the first color that I grabbed. It is the Splat Deep Emerald. I know that kind of seems like it's going against what I was saying before about deep, dark, bold colors. But the other color I wanted was blue. I could not find the blue splat. And I've worked with the green and the blue splat before when I did an ombre color. But I grabbed this guy because it, it was the only other permanent blue that they had. There was, um, they had semi-permanent colors, but I, I did not want that um, because, as I stated moments ago, those have not worked for me. Or I believe those have not worked for me. <sighs> the plan is that I'm going to take this guy and mix it with this guy and do a uh, lightning agent in there so that it lightens things up a bit. So hopefully I will get a nice, I don't know, lighter teal color. Maybe, um, I think if I just mix these two together and just leave it, I'll get like a peacock color, which is pretty, but not what I'm going for. Basically everything I need, I already opened up the different um, packages and I read the instructions separately and thoroughly so I know what I'm supposed to do. Like with neither of these am I supposed to have wet hair so I'm doing this correctly by having dry hair. Um, I'm going to just do very big broad sections. I'm not going to worry too much about sectioning it out too evenly or thoroughly, so I don't care. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna start with this bit over here. All right, so the first color I'm going to start with mixing and everything is this blue. It is a metallic blue from Got To Be. Really, the only products I've used from Got To Be have been the, they have a hair cement that I really like, and I use it whenever I buy hairspray because it holds like really well. So I hope this color turns out well mixed with the green. This is the color that it should be on dark blondes, like dark blonde, light brown, and medium brown are the colors that have on there. And as you can tell, my hair is lighter than any of those, so hopefully it'll work, it'll suck it all in. And the other one I have is the Splat. So first things first, this is the developer. And we are going to be putting the color cream into the developer and then it goes in the bowl. Oh my gosh, this is great. So. Uh, normally, like with this one, I'm going to have to cut the tip off, but this one, it just, it unscrews. Oh my gosh, like it knows. Butter creamer. 
colored cream. My bad. So the idea is to pour one into the other, put the lid back on, and shake it. And even though both of these colors are white, it'll turn blue. That is the entirety of this guy. Oh, look! Look. Still got some spots over here. So that is more or less entirely shaken up. We're going to set it off to the side. I'm going to vent this a little bit so nothing spews forth when I go to put it in the bowl. Next is this guy, and the color is already mixed in here. I just, I need to shake it up before I put it in the bowl. Oh no, this one looks blue. What the hell? It says semi-permanent hair color. It doesn't make any sense. And why is it... Look, it looks blue. Why? So I had so much faith in this because I had to open it physically. Like I had to break it open. And it looks blue. It's okay, it's okay. It'll be okay. And I've already decided if it doesn't work this time. Well, I'm gonna be really sad, first of all, but I will put it off, I guess, until later. Uh, I won't do it again for a while. It looks kind of blue and it also says semi-permanent and I am Trying to prepare myself for this not to work, but um, we're about to find out, I guess. I'm just gonna take this and put it into an old container and uh, hope for the best. This looks blue. This, this looks blue. So I mixed it up. And it looks far more blue than I want it to, but I got some on my fingers and I wiped it on my hair. It still looks a little bit more blue than I want it to, but at least it's showing up, you know? Dude, this looks blue with a tint of green. So the splat one said leave in for at least 30 minutes, and the got to be one said leave it in for at least 45 minutes. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to leave it in for at least an hour, <laughs> check on it, and see what I'm thinking. So, like I said, we're gonna give this about an hour. I already know that I, I got some on my scalp and everything. I don't care, I got a lot on here. 
I'm gonna try and get that off. So I did it, and I know that the lighting isn't great in here right now, but I'm letting my hair dry, and then I will show you the final result, or the final product, I guess. Anyway, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm letting it air dry right now, and hopefully it will look its best in about an hour. So I can already see a couple of spots where I wasn't so thorough with the coverage, which is, I mean, a bit upsetting, but what are you going to do? Uh, otherwise, it looks pretty good. Um, definitely a lot more blue than I was anticipating, but all in all, pretty good. All in all, I did a decent job. It is definitely darker at the roots. That could be, maybe my hair is just darker at the roots. I don't know. Last time I tried to dye my hair, so you've seen two attempts. I've done this three times other than this. The first two were pink. The uh, third one was a blue denim color. It was a like a silver blue, and it was also a semi-permanent, and it did not turn out at all. Um, it did neutralize some of the yellow that was in my hair, but other than that, you, you could not tell, and that was frustrating. And so I'm glad that this actually did something, even though it wasn't what I wanted or anticipated. It did something, so there's that. It worked. I guess I'd better get back to packing. Great. In the meantime, I hope you guys have a great day.